Okay, if you wanted to turn this person who is the uh, you know third person player, but if I wanted to use him as an NPC, uh, it's pretty easy. Like I say, I keep everything synonymous with uh, third person character and the actual person, but you can do either. Now, it's a matter of choosing uh, an event tick. So we can actually have an event happen. Um, I'm going to then grab a little bit of a delay, pressing D as you uh, press your left mouse button. I'm going to set a variable of what we're doing, which is running around, so we'll call it running. Now, going up to there, we're going to set the variable, so we'll connect those two. To give it a little bit of intelligence, I'm going to grab AI move to. So we hit that one there. From this one here, this is to do with having a delay in the duration of which they move. We then go to a random float in range, and you can change this to how often you want it to move. Normal one is two, and then five. And if you put 10 or 20, there'll be a longer space between when they move. From the pawn, we want it to actually find itself. So we get a reference to self. And then the location. So we get a random reachable point in radius. So that it's able to stay within a certain distance of the main player. And if we put 10,000 area. The origin will be from where it is itself. So we have uh, get actor location. Now with those all pretty well done, we then just grab one more running and we'll put that over onto here and grab the set. And because we want it to keep on happening, and then we're going to tick our little running button. I like to put that all in an NPC. So basically, that's everything done there. We'll hit compile, save, and we're going to grab control C, all of there, put it into the back end of the metahuman as well. Add the variable. Was it moving or running? It was, um, it was running. Okay, then we will go back to John, hit variable, control B. That's all set on both of those. Then we can go back and, as you may be aware, we'll go up to here and add a, um, a volume. We want a nav mesh bounds volume, which will dictate the area they're allowed to. So, going from the top and also hitting the letter P will give us where is it gone so we make it bigger and bigger and because we've got that P highlighted, it'll start to, it's easier when you start to get it taller so it represents the ground. And just keep dragging around, as, you know, to basically fit the whole level of the playing field that you want it to be able to run around. Okay, nice enough. Covers the stairs and everything like that, so you've went down, you know, moving up around. And now I can hit P and get rid of that. If I go back to my uh, third person, no, sorry, to the meta human, and grab him there, hit play, and I'm wandering about. Oh, and there he goes, wandering round, and of course you can change the speed, so, you know, if I wanted to go back in, and, um, well that would be 
why I have a third person and I see like I can have for example that could be the way I've put it in both of them because you might copy and use a third person again and again and again when we go back to here because what I normally do is I would right click duplicate and just call that NPC and then you keep adding NBC one two three four and make them certain people give them different speeds of their movement um, you know like I said when you're in your uh, character movement you can variate that of the different people so they're all walking about at a different pace but that basically is our little third person all about and uh, there you go hope that's helped thank you